This video is presented as a requirement for the subject SOCSI 100. It features an example for each classification of arts, visual, plastic, digital, performing, applied, and decorative arts. We had a chance to interview some of our local artists who are on the rise in making an impact in the world of art. We wanted to share their identity, the title of their work, and even to share where and when was it made. The description and their explanation of the works were also inquired. Once again, this art appreciation presentation is done by Janessa Klo and Jessica Espiritu. And together, we hope that we could all appreciate the arts of these following local artists. And let us begin with visual arts by Phoenix Jackson in his work, Gentrification. He was able to accomplish this last June 23, 2012 in Seoul, South Korea. He is from the Trinidad Benguet and his roots are from Bontok Mountain Province and Asipulu, Ifugao. His art in photography started when he worked in South Korea. Hi, I am better known as Phoenix Jackson and I call this piece Gentrification. Urban exploration takes me to a place where I get to learn about the past, the present, and a possible future of a particular area. When I come across an abandoned factory, for example, be it burned down or flooded or simply left behind, I am compelled to get to the center of the structure and make sense of what could have been if it was still operational. What's the story behind this wall and that wall? And if this pillar could talk, what would it say? If I find a piece of paper there, maybe the other people would think it is garbage. But to me, that piece of paper had a purpose once upon a time. One challenge may be to discover the story. But the bigger challenge for me is to um, translate that story so that other people could understand. This is where the camera comes in. For me, I definitely need a tripod and a flash unit because I'm a very big fan of long exposure and light painting. My formula is simple. I use contrasting techniques to tell the present, the long exposures and desaturating methods to talk about the past, and then I just emphasize on the whites when it's a possible future. All of the images used in this video were taken in the month of 2012, and then compiled and published in the same month for the purpose of comp uh, a competition in South Korea. Gentrification is a process that promises an advancement of life, but at the same time it demolishes what's currently in there. This video is a collective of Im images that forms a story that overviews all of the stories within, the, uh, within each images. Uh, with the permission of Anadonia's reprise, The Stranger is introduced and embodies the narrative of this work. You know, uh, this whole project has a deep personal impact for a lot of people, for a lot of lives, because this dog near the end was uh, rescued thanks to this video. Her name is Hucho and she is now happily living in America. Let me ask you, if you look at the one content of a garbage bin, uh, do you think it has fulfilled its life's purpose? That is indeed a very illuminating visual arts by Phoenix Jackson. Now let's proceed to other classification of arts, which is plastic arts by Mr. Bong Kim, who happens to be a Korean. Mr. Bong Kim created the work Giant Turtle in Bato de Luna, and the sculpture was completed in Luna, La Union, on December 31, 2019. For his description of their work, they used stones and sculpting tools to create this turtle sculpture. Green, blue, white, yellow, and black are his color of choice. For his own explanation, why use turtle as his inspiration? He quoted that turtles can live for up to 500 years. And when life gets tough and everything goes wrong, remember that even a turtle can finish a race because he never gives up. That is Mr. Bong Kim for Plastic Arts. Let us move on to Digital Arts by Janon Binondo with his title of work, Te Fiti's Sister, Te Annona. And he was able to accomplish this in his hometown, Dumaguete. Last March 28, 2022. For his own description, he stated that this is a practice of scenic views and a digital illustration. And it is actually a do-it-yourself style. And for his explanation, he quoted, I was scrolling through social media and found an illustration. I directly feel or felt in love and was inspired to make a version of mine. I am a character designer. So scenic and background really isn't for me. In a way, this is also a practice. So once again, that is Digital Arts by Janon Binondo. Next will be Performing Arts, and we are featuring Divino Rivera in his song title called Pintig. 
He is a performing artist from Bawang La Union and was recognized in the City of Pines. And up to this day, he continues to create beautiful songs that are driven by his spiritual faith and passion. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, hello, I was living right there. Mm -hmm. uh, I write songs and one of my favorites, uh, I sulat, uh, title niya Pindik. Uh, in English, of course, Heartbeat. Mm -hmm. um, na sulat ko siya 2018, mm -hmm. I think. And um, when I write songs, kasi I love um, describing uh, a specific thing um, and then draw inspiration from it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also into poetry. Oh. So, um, they all mix up together mm -hmm. sa, sa aking art. Um, random thoughts kasi pag nagsusulat ako ng song, I don't know, it just comes naturally. Uh -huh. Pag may specific na topic that comes to my mind, bigla na lang na sinasad ba? I, I, I'll write about it. Mm -hmm. Something like, you know, um, when, when I see coffee, you know, when I see the sunrise, or um, a ray of light, mm -hmm. or any, any object under the sun, mm -hmm. it, um, it triggers something in me to try. Wow. And um, specifically, um, uh, there was one time na pumasok sa so my name heartbeat and just thought of writing something about it, describing what it is. Mm -hmm. So ayun, um, yung song writing process naman niya, mm -hmm. um, just want to describe things. So, uh, yung, yung song kasi is about you know, um, the human heartbeat that gives us life. That's the reason why we did it. Um, gusto ko parati um, sa songwriting ko, and then yung inspiration, and yung spiritual um, aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And um, when we talk about heartbeat kasi, you know, it comes from God. Mm -hmm. Yun yung um, naging sin. Uh, center or yung core mm -hmm. ng uh, song na yun. Oh. Um, so when I look at heartbeat, it's you know it, it keeps going. Mm. Uh, so it's uh, it tells us that light goes on as long as our heart beats. Wow. And at the same time, um, it won't go on forever. Mm -hmm. There's a time. Mm -hmm. There's there will, there will come a time that the heartbeat will stop. Mm -hmm. So yeah, life goes on, mm -hmm. but it won't go on forever. Mm -hmm. So within that um, limited time we have, as long as our hearts are beating, how do we uh, respond to it? How do we uh, how do we live our life? Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say, na uh, yung song um, it, um, it tells us you know, to live um, our life well. Mm -hmm. That's it is that uh, limited time that God has given us, mm -hmm. and to uh, take uh, take every heartbeat uh, a precious opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, uh, every heartbeat is um, is precious. Mm -hmm. Tumatakbo, di mahinto Ayaw tumigil, di papipigil Ang pindig nitong puso At tumaawi, umiibig At tumiikot, nang walang takot Ang pagsayaw nitong puso Sa pagpatang ng bawat minuto At paghinga hindi sumusuko Hanggat dugo'y dumadaloy Ako'y magbang patuloy Sabay sa pag-iikot ng mundo Mr. Davina Rivera's performing art and singing could really make your heart beat so loud. Now let's proceed to another classification of arts, which is applied arts by architect Joven John Del Luna. And he has a title of his work, which is Untold Genesis. So that is the overall concept of his design in their church project in 2019 in Jesus Reigns Ministries, Silang Cavite. For his own description, he defined ontogenesis as the process of an individual organism growing organically. It is a purely biological unfolding of events involved in an organism changing gradually from a simple to a more complex level. He even explained the facade detail as an arboreal architectural style that epitomizes ontogenesis or organic growth and taking inspiration from growing trees as described in Psalm chapter 1 verse 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. 
For his explanation in his work on Genesis, he stated that it is a growth to which the believers in every manner are called to, whether it be in their relationship with Christ and to be a matured, fruitful Christian. It also pertains to how one individual can influence growth within the community which he or she belongs. Once again, for our applied arts, that is architect Joven John de Luna. Another applied arts is by Dina Rivera with her title of her work, The Mountains Are Calling. She is a charming Cantanay beauty who is also the owner of Ever Rustic in Buliagan, La Trinidad. As she said, her works may not be as perfect as the factory-made crafts, but behold some beauty in the simplicity, the imperfections, and rustic feel in the uneven edges, cracks, and not-so-polished so I'm into rustic wood crafts mm -hmm. and specifically wood signs. Wow. So I make wood signs for you know decorations in the house or mm -hmm. even events mm -hmm. like that. So uh, my favorite one or the most memorable one that I made, I made it last um, January 2021. Mm -hmm. I made it in my shop. Wow. <laughs> in my our oh, shop. Oh, 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 shop. Nyo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, yun, um, mm -hmm. It's a wood sign that has a mountain. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's uh, I used wood mm -hmm. para gawin yung yung mountain and even the, the letterings mm -hmm. and it says um, the mountains are calling mm -hmm. so I'm, I, I'm, I enjoy going out mm -hmm. and I like um, hiking mm -hmm. and so nung nag the pandemic of course everything stopped mm -hmm. the hiking mm -hmm. sprees uh, stopped mm -hmm. so I made that because I felt like <laughs> nung time na yun, the mountains are really calling oh. and um, I really miss going out mm -hmm. and enjoy God's creation so mm -hmm. ayun um a friend bought it already for us. I used scrap wood mm -mm. like that, reclaimed wood. Mm -mm. Um, and then when I talked to my clients mm -mm. also, um, of course I asked them kung ano yung gusto nilang gawin ko. Mm -mm. But yeah, thankfully yung mga clients ko naman, they trust me. So oh, yeah. they just let me decide how I, I should make yung gusto nilang design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most, mostly rustic talaga. Right. Ko. Yeah. So unpolished. <laughs> classification of arts, we have decorative arts by Maybelline Rodriguez. She is a single mother and a person who used to be deprived of liberty. She is also an art enthusiast of colorful beads assembled into beautiful and useful accessories. For the title of her beadwork or bead handicrafts, she named it Purple Bliss. This is her favorite creation so far because this simple pouch was made inside the Baguio City Jail last October 2021. She intended to give it as a gift of appreciation to her spiritual counselor that served as an encourager and friend to her during the darkest and uncertain moments of her life inside her prison cell. For her description and for her explanation of her work, Maybelline Rodriguez quoted, Beadworks financially helped me and my family in jail to survive. I also found a hobby and a skill that eventually allowed me to overcome my depression and low self-esteem. Art brought out the good side of me. Being in prison almost killed me. Being away from my kids and loved ones can truly get you crazy to a point where I no longer want to wake up and beadworks was one of the therapies introduced to me by my wardens. Through this, I also get to meet a person that helped me realize my worth. She is a pastor and my client of beadworks at the same time. When my prayers for freedom was finally answered, I started creating my purple bliss as a gift for her. Purple is our favorite color. I poured out my love and mostly joy while stitching and putting all these beads together. I wish for her holy Bible to be placed in this pouch. I wanted her to remember how once in her life she gets to touch a lost soul but found new life through faith and friendship. Once again, Maybelline Rodriguez for decorative arts. So these are all the featured classification of arts by our local artists. In performing arts, we have Divino Rivera, Applied Arts by Dina Rivera and architect John Juven de Luna, Decorative Arts by Maybelline Rodriguez, Visual Arts by Phoenix Jackson, Plastic Arts by Mr. Wong Kim, and Digital Arts by Mr. Binondo. Thank you so much for tuning in with us, and this is Janessa Klo and Jessica Espirito.